next super class, let's solve this one by factoring. We have 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals to 0. Now in order to factor this, we will go ahead and factor this using the guess and test method. This is already shown in another video, so I'm going to kind of skip to the end of that. So notice if we foil this out, we get 3x squared plus 6x minus 1x is 5x, and minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. All right, so now let's use the zero factor property to solve this. We know that if a times b is zero, then either a is b zero or b is zero. So since a times b is zero, either the 3x minus 1 is zero, or the x plus 2 is zero. So either 3x minus 1 is zero, or x plus 2 is zero. So in order to solve this, we need to first add one to both sides. So we get 3x is equal to 1, and then we divide both sides by 3, giving us x is equal to 1 third. That is one of our solutions. Now, since x plus 2 is 0, we want to undo adding 2 to x, so we subtract 2. Of course, in math, we do that on both sides, which gives us that x is equal to negative 2. So our solution is 1 third minus 2. Did you get that? Good job, class. Hi, super class. Let's solve by factoring. So here we have 4x squared minus 4x minus 3 is 0. We want to factor this using the guess and test method. So we know that factors of 4 are 1 and 4 and 2 and 2. And factors of 3, since that's prime, are 1 and 3. So some combination of these should come out to factor, we hope. So I will start with the smaller factors first and hope that those will work. So 4x squared could split into 2x and 2x, right. I'm guessing. So if we do a minus here and a plus here, then we get 4x squared minus 6x plus 2x is minus 4x minus 3. So looks like this is good. All right, now let's use the zero factor property. So since 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, either 2x plus 1 is 0, or 2x minus 3 is 0, or I guess they could both be 0. So the first thing we want to do for 2x plus 1 is 0 is since we're adding 1 to the x, we want to undo adding 1 and we want to subtract 1. Of course, we do that to both sides, and that gives us 2x is minus 1. Then, because we're multiplying 2 by the x, we want to undo multiplying by 2, so we divide by 2. Of course, in math, we do that on both sides. So that gives us x is equal to minus 1 half, and that's one solution. Now let's find the second solution. We're subtracting 3, so we want to undo subtracting 3, so we, you got it, we add 3. There we go, and in math, of course, we do that to both sides, which gives us 2x is equal to 3. Now we have 2x is equal to 3, so we want to divide both sides by 2. Of course, we do that on both sides, which gives us x equals to 3 halves. So our two solutions here are minus one half and three halves. Hi, super class. Let's solve by factoring. Let's solve five x squared plus two x minus three is zero. So since five x minus three times x plus one is equal to zero by the zero factor property, either five x minus three must be zero or x plus one must be zero. Or I guess they could both be zero. So, so let's solve this one first. Since we're subtracting 3 from the x, we want to add 3, right? That's undoing subtracting 3. Of course, in math, we add it on both sides, which gives us 5x is 3. And then since we're multiplying by 5, we want to undo multiplying by 5, so we divide by 5. Of course, in math, we do that on both sides, which gives us x is equal to 3 fifths. That is one solution. Our second solution can be found, since we have x plus 1 is 0, we undo adding 1, so we subtract 1. Of course, in math, we do that from both sides, which gives us x is equal to minus 1. So our solutions are 3 fifths and minus 1. Did you get those? Good job, class.